welcome friends <coughs> good evening i am rahul randeria and we would be discussing on nifty bank nifty their daily setups and trends uh, for the coming days and weeks so definitely uh, last week uh, we have seen that nifty had rallied very sharply uh, nifty and bank nifty has uh, rallied very sharply uh, and uh, there was not a minor correction which we have seen on intraday basis also but overall what we have seen that in the last 10 trading sessions both the indices nifty as well as bank nifty has held significantly it was a 90 degree move now if we look at uh, the charts uh, on the nifty daily charts nifty has rallied almost even 100 points uh, uh, from the levels of almost uh, 10800 to almost the current closing which is around uh, 11950 odd marks so definitely you can see on the charts and uh, that on the on the oscillator for rsi on the downside in the circle what you have seen that rsi is entering into overbought territory in the past also in june july you can see that rsi while entering at this particular level it has almost corrected 1000 point in june june and july in the recent year so definitely at current levels on the even if on the hourly chart we can see uh, the prices has been over stretch the prices have become a little bit heavy and we can see uh, or we might see some sort of profit booming coming in uh, in the next week so i would be recommending to uh, get cautious at these levels the risk to reward ratio for going long in nifty is not favorable so those who have entered at lower levels are in profits can try to book profits at the higher levels so uh, it is it is a cautious stance at these levels so definitely at this at current juncture there could be uh, a profit booking scene in the next week uh now uh, if we look up at the supports in nifty the support in the nifty are coming around 11751 mark if it breaks then uh, next support is coming around uh, 11629 mark on the upside the major resistance are placed around uh, 12000 mark which is a psychological barrier and if it closes above that then next a uh, next uh, resistance would be around 12200 mark and as we have discussed that price are over stretch prices prices have become heavy one should try to book profits risk rewards are not matching for going long so definitely one should stay uh, or stay uh, cautious at these levels and avoid going long on the nifty now on the bank nifty front if you look at on the daily charts in the bank nifty again in the last 10 trading session bank nifty had rallied, uh, rallied almost 3500 points and currently it is again quoting in the overbought territory again uh, in a very short span of time we have seen a 90 degree move in the Nif bank nifty also now on the daily charts we can see in the on the rsi the blue line blue horizontal line whenever bank nifty or the rsi has uh, entered this particular area we can see 1 2 and 3 4 and 5 this is the fifth time where bank nifty has entered at this resistance area or what we call as overbought area where we might see some sort of profit booking coming at the higher levels so definitely again in bank nifty also one should be highly cautious one should stay uh, light footed one should avoid going long if anybody is already having long positions in bank nifty also should try to book profits at the higher levels now the crucial support and uh, resistance in the bank nifty are now we talk about the resistance on the upside the major resistance is around 24051 uh so 24000 being a psychological mark uh, so 24051 on the spot levels is the first resistance and if it breaks then next resistance would be coming around 24611 mark on the bank nifty spot on the downside the crucial support in the bank nifty are coming around 23450 if it break those levels then next support is coming around 22964 these are the spot levels again after 3500 point of rally in last trend trading sessions i would recommend to go uh, be cautious book profit at the higher levels and uh, stay cautious at current juncture or in the next week now on the derivative fronts if we look at the data where the major position has been built in puts and uh, and longs first of all i would like to highlight in nifty where you know the most of the open interest or most of the position has been built in nifty on the upside the major position has been built around 12000 calls as we can see on the screen 
and second position is been uh, second major position has been built in 12200 uh, calls so definitely these are the area where we might see and 12000 being a psychological mark we might see some sort of profit booking coming at those levels and on the on the next level which is around 12200 mark so these are the two crucial areas where you know uh, the upside is seems to be capped so one should be cautious in uh, nifty uh, also on the put side on the downside the major position in the uh, nifty puts are seen around uh, 10000 uh, sorry 11700 uh, puts and 11800 puts uh, on the screen which are highlighted in the red uh, highlighted uh, uh, area so definitely on the downside the major support is been seen around uh, uh, 10 uh, 11700 mark and again uh, which is matching with the crucial support which is around 11691 mark so definitely as we have seen that nifty and bank nifty both are in overbought territory so one should try to be cautious and book profits at the high level now in bank nifty call and puts on the upside the major position where uh, uh, the the concentration of the calls are be seen at 24000 on the bank nifty as we can see on the charts uh, or on the screen 24000 the major position has been built and next uh, major position has been built around 24500 so this could act as a crucial resistance in bank nifty and one should try to book profit at the higher levels on the down side the major position has been built are in the put side are 23500 as we can see on the on the screen and next uh, position has been built at 23000 so these are the crucial support area and as we have seen that the prices have become heavier prices are entering the, into overbought or bot territory oscillators are also going into overbought territory so one need to be uh, cautious at these levels so uh, these were the the setups and uh, the derivative data in nifty and bank nifty now for long term i have identified one stock which is looking good from the current levels for an investment of uh, for long term or maybe an investment horizon of uh, maybe uh, 12 to 18 months uh, which is uh, the stock is vmart the stock on the daily charts we can see the stock is forming a classical rounding bottom formation and it is consolidating while making rounding bottom we see that there are rise in the volumes that means clearly the stock is indicating that the stock is in accumulation mode and any given point of time in the foreseeable future we might see stock rallying from the current levels so purely for the long term investor those who want to invest for next 12 to 18 months can accumulate the stock currently the stock is just quoting around 1997 mark so maybe from current levels and on correction still maybe 1850 one can accumulate the stock by long term target for the rounding bottom potential target on the upside for 12 to 18 months is coming around 2600 so definitely for long term investors vmart is looking good any correction or from current levels should be used as a buying opportunity now for the next week i have identified two stocks where again are uh, looking weak from the current levels again on the open interest point also uh, uh, the prices have corrected and open interest is also built so definitely from these levels the stocks are looking weak and one can trade for next uh, uh, for next week or a couple of days uh, both the stocks are Hindalco and UPL. Both the stocks have seen some sort of profit booking at the higher levels and on the derivative and derivative uh, futures also, future side also, uh, the open interest is building up. The prices are going down, open interest is building high, so it clearly indicates the weakness in the stock. So any pullback in this particular stock, Hindalco and uh, UPL should be used to go short or anybody those who are having a position in this stock can try to book profits at the higher levels. Downside, I am expecting 4 to 5 percent uh, downside from the current levels. So, one can look out for uh, Hindalco and UPL for short trades in next week. So, these were the observations which I have uh, seen in the past week and what I have observed looking upon the pattern. We must be cautious at the higher levels. Do not try to uh, uh, trade aggressively, stay light footed. Avoid long positions, try to book profit at the higher levels and trade with strict stop losses. Therefore, I would like to conclude the today's show. For any comments, you can uh, 
mention uh, in the comment box. And uh, for live update in Nifty Bank Nifty uh, and individual stocks, uh, can uh, you can follow on my Twitter handle, which is at the rate Rahul Randeria. So have a nice trading week next week. Thank you very much, and have a nice trading sessions for next week. Thank you very much.